this is one of these songs where I'm like, my God, you really had to be in that lifestyle to know all these things to put in. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel Rockin' the Country. I'm Don. This is a big day because Dave and Christine Emsweiler sent me this hat. You might have seen the unboxing, but this is the very first video I'm doing with this Stetson. And it was a phenomenally thoughtful and generous gift. So thank you again, Dave and Christine. And what I'm doing now is I'm doing three videos in a row because I'm like, I've kind of seen other guys wearing, you know, hats like this. So I grabbed a bunch of videos. Some of them you guys requested, some I just got. But the first three I'm doing uh, are guys with artists with similar hats as this. S somewhat similar, I think. Hank Williams Sr., George Strait, and Alan Jackson. There'll be different videos, you know, the way I post one a day. But anyway, <laughs> in your honor. <laughs> and so this is unusual for me. I usually wear baseball caps. This is my first cowboy hat. I don't even know if you call them that. I know in the South, you don't call them cowboy boots. You just call them boots. So maybe you just call this a hat. But anyway, I'm doing Hank Williams Sr., as I promised. And this was requested, let's see, by Mike Savage. And the name of this song is Everything's Okay. So let's find out if everything is okay. I think you made a comment to the effect, Mike, that if you want to feel good, this is the song to listen to. So who doesn't like feeling good? Oh, wait a minute. How am I going to do this? I'll have to, I'll, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to put these headphones on. I hadn't thought that far ahead. Let me go. Gee. All right, let's see. This ain't working. All right, hold on. I didn't mean to look like an idiot on camera. Okay. There we go. That doesn't work. That work? No. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I do this. And I know not to put the hat, you know, on its brim, so I'm setting it on the table here. So anyway, this is part of my education. All right, Hank Williams Sr., everything's okay. We got a thing here to start off with this morning. A lot of you folks have been requesting. I recorded this and my half-brother, I mean, I wrote it my half-brother recorded it for <laughs> MGM Luke the Drifter. <laughs> it's a little, uh, it's got a lot of sense in it. If you ever lived on a farm, you'll probably agree with me. Thing called outside of that, everything's in pretty fair shape, huh? Well, I went to the country and it was just the other day to see my Uncle Bill and sort of pass the time away. I asked him how he'd been since last I'd passed his way and he rubbed his chin and here's what he had to say. Now, my wife's been sick, and the young'uns too, and uh -oh. I'm darn near down with the flu. The cow's gone dry, and the hens won't lay, but we're still a-living, so everything's okay. The cow broke in the field and eat up the beans, and the doggone rabbits, they got the turnip greens. My ma-in-law just moved in to stay, but we're still a-living, so everything's okay. My land's so poor, so hard and yeller, you have to sit on a sack of fertilizer to raise an umbrella. <laughs> and it rains out here nearly every day, but we're still a-living, so everything's okay. The hogs took the cholera and they've all done died. The bees got mad and they left the hive. The weevils got the corn and the rain rotted the hay, but we're still a living, so everything's okay. Oh my goodness. The porch rotted down, and that's more expense. And the darned old mule is tore down the fence. The mortgage is due, and I can't pay, but we're still a living, so everything's okay. 
The well's gone dry and I have to tote the water up from the spring about a mile and a quarter. My helper, he quit for the lack of pay, but we're still a living, so everything's okay. The house, it leaks, it needs a new top, and when it rains, it wets everything we got. The chimney fell down just the other day, but we still here, so everything's okay. Got a the cornmeal's gone and the meat's run out. They ain't got nothing to kill to put in the smokehouse. The preacher's coming Sunday to spend the day, but we're still a living, so everything's okay. The canned stuff spoiled, else the jars got broke. All we got left is one old William goat. We're gonna have a new baby about the first of May, but we're still a living, so everything's okay. Love life is fine. The crop it rotted in the ground. I asked for another loan, but the banker turned me down. But we're still a living and we're praying for a better day, so after all, everything's in pretty fair shape. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see as many guys get homesick? I never did in my life. It's all sitting right well, here. Pruitt crying. was going to get in the floor. I did too. Hell. He's uncommonly okay this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> there we go. I don't, e I don't even know what you leave on the cutting room floor in that song. What do you leave out of a song? And there are certain songs. I'll listen to the lyrics, and it's obvious that there's a whole bunch of stuff that had to be left out. This is one of these songs where I'm like, my God, you really had to be in that lifestyle to know all these things to put in. About the canned goods going bad, the weevils got the turnips, I think he said. Just all the, you know, he even called on this house, he called it a top, not a roof. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if that's. I don't know, regional or something like that. I've never heard it called that, but I knew exactly what he was talking about. How could you not? But holy cow, out of sheer respect, I am not rating that song. That's just so emblematic of storytelling. Country, why country is what it is. We're wired for story. Human beings are wired for story. I've read enough books on writing, screenwriting, uh, prose writing, all this stuff that we're wired for story. It's why we watch television. It's why we watch movies and we're willing to suspend our disbelief to, to follow, you know, some plot along in a fictional story or science fiction or even a documentary that just seems like in, unbelievable. And we love a good story. And this is that. The thing is about certain forms of music is that, and I know I like rock, you know, I grew up on rock and I like those heavy jams and, you know, I still love listening to Stevie Ray and, and them and, you know, Skinner and all, but a song like this is all about the story and there's nothing dramatic about the instrumentation to overtake or overthrow the lyrics and traditional country stays there. The music is there to hold up the lyrics so that story gets told, and that's what speaks to the human component. So, I don't know. Dave, maybe I got I got some of your brains in his hat now. You hear what I just said? <laughs> I'm like channeling the good doctor. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that be just as it is, folks. That is it. The next two songs, minimum, I'll be wearing this hat, although I'll, uh, I, I can't wear it with the headphones I discovered, but I did... Dave, I know you noticed that. I did that. Dave and Christine are down in Texas and uh, big UT fans. I know Dave is. I don't know where Christine comes. I'm guessing the same way. So anyhow, have a great day. See you on another video. Keep rocking the country. Thank you. Thank you.